What's up, Cage Nation? It's Kevin Jackowitz here with the Caged Review. And I have, <laughs> am a little bit behind on this trailer in particular. I didn't know this trailer even existed. Um, it is for Detroit Become Human, and apparently this is E3 2017, so that's a little bit behind. I've only seen one short trailer for Detroit Become Human, and it was very cool. It was dealing with this female AI uh, android that was living with this family with a very abusive father and a, a daughter who needed her help and you know giving the AI android a lot of difficult human choices to make and I really like the games that Quantum Quantic Dream makes uh, they're very good at telling stories and that's what these games are they're not playable in the sense that you know, it's a hack and slash or a shooter. It's just making choices, basically, and developing a storyline. Um, they use certain mechanics with your remote to have you do things, but uh, the idea is following just the story and different choices unfold different events. Uh, and I really like the way they do it. They've made a couple of games that I really like, and so... When I saw the trailer for Detroit Become Human, I was like, you know what, I really want to check this out. So, when I seen the beginning of this trailer, I was like, oh, wow, I need to stop this and do a reaction to it. So, here I am. I know it's late, but this is the E3 2017 trailer for Detroit Become Human. Just a little while longer. You can see that thing on his temple is, you can tell he's the android. Hold on, just a little while longer. Looks pretty good. Not necessarily the best graphics I've ever seen, but it looks pretty good. This is a night our people will remember. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Let's get him out. We'll stick to the plan. Neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. You're awake now. Marcus, watch out. Of course, the AI fight back. This is action. We gotta go. What? We can't just leave our people behind. It's too late. If we stay here, we're gonna get shot. North, our people need us alive. There's nothing else we can do. Morgan! Shit. Take so this is showing you all the choices you get. are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Showing you all the different, like, you know, things you I'm can do to create different scenarios. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. But then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! 
you, Marcus. I'll follow you, Marcus. Then follow me. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores. Given the facts, <laughs> Cyber these attacks are linked to the deviant video message broadcast recently from the Stratford Tower. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated attack. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Violence is the only language humans understand. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. We're getting reports that hundreds of androids have been stolen from CyberLife stores. I really like the story they're building up, though. I mean, it's not like a cheap knockoff. Have androids become a threat to our security? They're coming. My name is Marcus. I am one of them. This is our story. It's a cool intro. Um, I actually like the second trailer a little bit better because it was a smaller scale and it was really hit like personal, like the human choices that an android in a family setting had to make. Uh, this is a cool story. And like I said, I, I mean, it's something that's been done so many times with AI uh, getting their own consciousness, fighting back against humanity. You see it in Terminator, you see it in The Matrix, uh, but it doesn't feel like a cheap knockoff. It feels like a, its own very good story. So I like that. Uh, as far as I understand, there's three main characters. You're going to follow their stories and, um, you know, obviously everything you do has consequences. So, it, it's just a really fun, cool thing to play. I'm definitely going to check it out when it comes out. That's a guarantee. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like the reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackwitz. Cage Nation out.